Josh Duggar was sentenced to 12 years in the Western District of Arkansas Federal Court in Fayetteville, Arkansas on May 25th, five months after he was unanimously found guilty of receipt and possession of child pornography. Homeland Security Special Agent Gerald Faulkner said in May that the downloads made from a specific file are in the top worst of the worst that I have ever had to view. This is a man who has been working for the Homeland Security for years. That begs the question, is the 12 years allotted to Josh more of a favor than a sentence? This situation was not just about punishing the crimes at hand, but also leading by example. And this is not the example we hope to lead by. We need to have stricter punishments for these pedophilic men that are walking around in our society feeling so comfortable as to molest these children. Why did this happen? Because society allowed it to happen. The chance to be reformed in this situation, the odds are extremely low. Even with a lifetime of therapy, we will always have to worry that these predators will return to their natural frame of mind and hopefully not the level of comfortability that we've seen thus far. 33-year-old Josh is the father of seven children, the youngest who was just born. It begs me to think about the reason that Judge Brooks perhaps handed down this sentence. 12 years in between the time that he will see his newborn child until the time that he will go home. I personally think that Judge Brooks should have given at least an 18-year sentence to ensure that his youngest child would be a full-grown adult before he sees the light of day again. Ted Bundy was done in by his teeth, and Josh Duggar was done in by his hands. If there was any question as to his innocence or guilt here, we can clearly see that he was given away by the scar in his hands as to being the perpetrator to watching these pornographic videos of children. Josh fully believes that all of his sins are forgiven by Jesus. He may not get quite that reaction from the other prisoners in federal prison.